Nassau. Spend a day to get my mind blown. Dress it up and go to Nassau. 200 miles on the dash. Got a roll of pound up a gas. Switch the lanes in the ground. It's you guys, Ciara Diamond here, and today I am here with this Instagram baddie makeup look. I thought that this trend that was going on on YouTube was just like so cute, especially since like the term Instagram baddie, like the fact that there's like an Instagram baddie like theme is just bonkers to me. Like, so I just was like, let me go ahead and do like a glowy um, Instagram baddie makeup look. Yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, I did it featuring the Juvia's Place um, Nubian 2 palette. I know this palette came out a while ago, and I'm really stoked for their new palette that's about to come out. So I cannot wait to get my hands on that. So I just was like, I wanted to do it on the Modern Renaissance palette, but I know like that's a high-end you know, um, palette, and not everybody has that. But I figured that the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette was more affordable and more like, you know, something that everybody can use especially since it's not that expensive so um i definitely want to do with that palette instead of the um, modern renaissance palette if you guys still do want to see a modern renaissance palette you know makeup tutorial definitely let me know and i'll do one like this week so um yeah i hope you guys like this look i'm really like i really like it i have like the choker going on and stuff for, like the whole instagram baddie like i figured it was appropriate so if you guys like this look that i have going on just keep watching and i'll show you guys how you can get it so I'm starting this tutorial completely bare faced and I'm going to be doing something a little different today. While I'm waiting for my NYX Born to Glow Illuminator to come in the mail, I'm going to be using my MAC Iridescent Loose Powder in the color Golden Bronze. And I'm going to mix that with my foundation. Um, I'm going to pour some in my foundation and I'm going to use a toothpick to mix it and then apply the foundation with my Beauty Blender. Um, I figured that this, since this was like a glowy look, I would like do this routine until my Born to Glow Illuminator comes. So I'm going to be um, using this and placing it all over my face in my Beauty Blender. And I've been doing this routine where I apply my foundation all over my face first. Well, as you can see, I'm not doing it on my eyelids. But, um, because that's where to make, like, the eyeshadow and stuff is going to go. But I'm putting it everywhere. My brows everywhere except my eyelids. And, um, I've been doing that and then doing my brows after. Because I feel like it gives more of a, like, flawless finish. Then doing your brows first and then doing it after. But to each its own. This is just my routine for right now. Like, I may switch it next week. I don't know. <laughs> like, I switch my routine all the time. So I'm going to be using my MAC Spiked Pencil, um, Eyebrow Pencil. And then I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color Chocolate. Once that's complete, I'm going to conceal under my brows with two colors from the Contour Cream Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to be using cinnamon first, since that's closest to my complexion, and then I'm going to be using nude. Um, the color of this Contour Cream Kit is deep, so those are the two colors that I normally use in this palette when concealing my brows. After that, I'm going to be priming my eyes with Max Paint Pot in the color Painterly. And I'm going to be using this angled Sigma brush to get that paint pot all over my eyes so that we can get the best color payoff once I start using this palette. So the first color that I'm going to be using from this palette is Madagascar. And that's like a sandy brown. I feel like that's a nice transition color because usually I use saddle, but I wanted to try to stick to all the colors in this palette so I didn't have to use any outside colors like from any other makeup palettes or anything. So I'm just going to be sweeping Madagascar back and forth in my crease just to set things off before I warm things up with the burnt orange color that I'm going to be using next, which happens to be one of my favorite colors in this palette. Like, I use this burnt orange for everything. This is like one of my main transition crease colors in almost all of my makeup looks, and that color is Morocco. 
and I'm gonna be using that same blending brush and I'm gonna just use that right over Madagascar to just warm things up and I'm gonna be kind of dragging it out to create kind of like a trace for like a cat eye because you guys are gonna really see the shape of the cat eye once I move on to my lid color and that's gonna kind of you know set the shape for this whole makeup look and I just think makeup is amazing because you can start off like looking like this and then end up looking like totally different <laughs> so um, yeah this I'm gonna just drag that out as you can see I'm using that blending brush and dragging it out but the real like trick in creating the shape comes right after this now the most important part of this look is me taking the Sigma E15 flat definer brush and going back in with painterly and I'm basically carving out the shape of like a cat eye with painterly so that's a paint pot and it's gonna make the color that I put on top of that really pop so I'm dragging it out and I'm making like a cat eye right under Morocco and I'm gonna do that for both sides and it's really great to use a precision brush like this that you know really is like really great for detail so that's the reason why I'm using like this flat brush because it's flat it's easy to use it's easy to work with and it makes applying the paint to lead or whatever product you choose to apply here it makes it like going really smooth and it's not that hard to use at all so I'm gonna be using this paint pot to kind of create a wing so I'm just gonna be dragging it out right under Morocco and I really 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 love doing this look because this is like one of my go-to looks and I normally just leave it like this and apply a matte color that's the same color as painterly but I wanted to use another color from this palette so I'm going to be using my MAC mixing medium liner with a color from this palette which is like a pretty golden color called Nefertiti and I'm going to be applying my mixing medium and then applying the color after one of the main reasons why I chose to use mixing medium for this look was because I didn't want any transfer, especially like into my crease area because I was trying to make this like a really detailed, you know, look and I didn't want any transfer at all. So I didn't get any transfer at all with this look thanks to the mixing medium. So definitely get your hands on that if you can because I know they were sold out for a while but I think they just restocked. So I'm going to be doing the same thing to the next side. A very helpful tip that I saw in Alyssa Ashley's makeup tutorials was that right after applying the pigment or whatever color you use on top of the mixing medium, go over it again with mixing medium just to seal it in, just to assure that there would not be any transfer. So I went ahead and did that as well, just to, you know, seal it and lock it in place. So now I'm going to be using this smaller, like, blending brush and using the color Jezebel which is a pretty berry color. This is one of my favorite colors in this palette as well. And I'm just going to be adding a bit more definition into that crease area over where I just applied Nefertiti just to, you know, darken it and make it a little bit more intense. And I feel like that's what kind of jazzed up this look more compared to how it was before. So I really, really loved doing that. So I did that and I dragged it out as well. Just to make sure everything looks a bit more blended, I'm going to take this Studio Pro Contour Palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to use the fourth color and I'm going to use that to set the highlight under my brows, to set the concealer that I used under it. Um, just so that everything looks a little bit more seamless and I love this palette because it's a matte um, palette so it's a contour palette so obviously there wouldn't be any shimmers. <laughs> but I'm going to be using my Inglot um, AMC number 77 liner. And then I'm going to be using my The Real Benefit Mascara. And then I'm going to be using my Fawn LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. I went back to this concealer because I haven't used it for a very long time. But I'm happy I did because I forgot how good it is. So <laughs> I'm back to using this for the time being. Um, and I'm just going to use a damp beauty blender and dab that all into my skin, under my eyes and stuff. And now the look is starting to come together compared to how we started. And I just really love, like, once you can start to see, like, how nice the makeup starts to look once you move on to your face. Once your eyes is done, everything starts to come together and you start feeling like, yes! <laughs> 
So now things are going to move a little bit more faster and I'm going to be using another color in the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer Family and this is called Espresso. And I'm going to be using that for my nose highlight, um, I'm, my nose highlight, my nose contour, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to be using that to contour my nose and then I'm going to use fawn in the middle of that and then dab the beauty blender and get all of that in there. Um, you know, I usually use powder to contour my nose sometimes, but I've been using espresso and I like how it looks. Like, I feel like it looks better than powder. So, now I'm going to be setting all of that highlight with this, well, it's not Dermablend powder, but it's just in a Dermablend container. But it's a mix of, I believe, Topaz and Chestnut Benai setting powder. Um, it's a mix that my mom had made me, so I just have it in there. And then I'm going to be using this MAC blush in the color raisin and this is my go-to blush and I use it for like contour and then I'm going to dust all that um, excess setting powder that I used before off with this tapered brush now I'm going to be applying my salon perfect 615 lashes you guys see this in almost every video and then I'm going to use this urban decay naked illuminating powder in the color lit and dust that all over my face being that this is a glowy look then I'm going to pop some Zuri into the inner corner of my eyes just to open up my eyes a bit. And then I'm going to use my bomb ass wild and radiant palette from BH Cosmetics. Guys, please get this palette. Like for highlight, everything you want to get glow. When I tell you glow, get this palette. It is like so affordable and it's amazing. It is amazing. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so amazing. Then I'm going to spray that and um with some, you know fix plus <laughs> and then I'm gonna use this NYX color in the color fortune cookie then I'm going to use this Nika K brown lip liner from the beauty supply store super affordable it's probably like two dollars then I'm going to use my favorite 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 NYX intense butter gloss in the color peanut brittle oh my gosh this is like the perfect nude my favorite nude like ever I love nudes you guys never really see me in color and the look is done like I was really pleased with how this look came out if you guys would like to see more makeup looks definitely let me know don't forget to thumbs up like well duh that's the same thing <laughs> comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye